everyone. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to make the connection between Grasshopper and ArchiCAD. We had a comment come in here from Digimotion Arc. Uh, would you consider sharing something on the ArchiCAD Grasshopper connection? And I thought this would make a good tutorial because I had issues setting up this, this connection and a lot of things to troubleshoot and things that I didn't think were going to go how I thought they would. I thought they would go pretty smooth, but I actually ran into a couple of issues. So let's jump over here to uh, Rhino and Grasshopper. You can type in Grasshopper to show this up. You do not need to know Grasshopper to make this work. Uh, but you do need to download the ArchiCAD, the most up-to-date ArchiCAD Grasshopper connection plugin, which you can find on their site. I can add the links below. So let's we're gonna start with typing in object. Object. So what I love about Grasshopper is that it tells you what it wants. And so here it says object settings. Okay. Now I'm gonna type in object settings. Great. Drag this tool in here. All right, now it wants geometry. Okay, so let's give it some geometry. I'm gonna type in geometry, and then I'll right click, set one geometry, and it's set one geometry. Awesome. Now I type it in. Oh, it should work. It needs an anchor point. So let's put an anchor point. Now, once you set an anchor point, that should be your anchor point for all the objects uh, that you do. You should not have separate uh, anchor points because you all want it to reference the same points. If you're bringing in multiple objects, make sure that if those are related to each other, that they are all connecting to the same point here. So no yellow, that means there's an error coming up. And this is annoying, but you have to make a name for this or it's not going to know what to do with itself. And so you come up here and you make a panel and let's just call this a panel. And you're gonna give it a name. And sometimes the names, it doesn't like it. And so you have to just keep in mind, uh, if you get another error message, sometimes you just need to change the name. Okay, we'll do a toggle. I don't really use the toggle, but it's just nice to have on hand if, whoops. It's nice to have on hand in case you want to turn off and on the synchronization. So let's jump over to ArchiCAD. The first thing you're going to do in ArchiCAD is go File, Interpretability, Grasshopper Connection. Connection, Grasshopper. Let's jump back into so if there is no connection, you're going to get these error. This is going to be a yellow and it's going to be an error and you're going to be like, why is it not working? There's a couple things you need to check first. The first thing you need to do in Grasshopper is make sure that when you go file, you have to type this connect document to the Grasshopper connect document to ArchiCAD and make sure that it's the one that you, the file that you want and the direction. If you don't do this, it might not be able to find your file and you will be frustrated. The next thing that you need to do is sometimes ArchiCAD's not referencing the correct file. It doesn't have the connection there. I don't know why. So there should be something that comes up here and it's not coming up for me that says a connection and there you can change this this connection where it's referencing you see like connection grasshopper um and it's not coming up for me i don't know why external content it's not in there it might i'm not sure but usually an additional thing pops up here that's a connection but it's not and so that would be something just to check and that's a way to reference it. But generally, yeah, that's going to be your number one troubleshooting thing is just making sure that it's connect to document uh, in there. Another thing that you have to check is check for updates. And that will just make sure you have to have the latest and greatest ArchiCAD connection. So that's the, the basic connection. It, it works pretty well whenever you make changes in Grasshopper, it will make changes in ArchiCAD. 
you know, are you gonna have issues with this connection? Probably, it's most advisable just to do everything in ArchiCAD and just learn how to do it in ArchiCAD. Uh, now, there's a lot of flexibility in Rhino and it's really nice to model in Rhino, so maybe then it makes sense to make it in ArchiCAD or you have, uh, in Rhino, or you're doing some complex grasshopper script and you wanna plug that into uh, ArchiCAD. Now what's frustrating with this connection is it doesn't allow you to really communicate with the GDL object. You can uh, import settings, there is some connection possibilities, but you can't effectively um, do the, pro the GDL programming in Grasshopper. Those don't translate. Uh, so you're not creating a BIM object, you're just creating a specialty object. And so this isn't gonna be something that is gonna be, yeah, you can make a bunch of separate objects that you can use, but it's not going to be an object that you're gonna be able to change really readily in ArchiCAD itself. Uh, you can set some parameters and then take that and move it into GDL, uh, but it's limited in that capacity to later on change the properties. You know, you can add settings to the object and change those in ArchiCAD, and there's a little bit of communication between those, uh, but it's not ideal. Um, and unfortunately for ArchiCAD, GDL is terrible, I'm sorry. Um, I don't, no one should be learning like some complicated script just, just to, to change their objects. Uh, now, Paramo is, uh, it, it is kind of limited, and it, I would say it's, it basically functions in a similar way as using a Grasshopper and ArchiCAD connection because you can, you're basically just making a one-off specialty object. Okay, so I thought, I hope that's clear. Um, I wanna get into some of the more uh, other ways that you can make this connection that are pretty exciting. Uh, the other one is using beams and columns. So for that, we're gonna just go in here and type in beam. And you can see that there's different, if you have different plugins, uh, you have to look for the right icon here to make sure that you're getting the right, um, the ArchiCAD beam. So this is the ArchiCAD beam, and again, it tells you what it needs. It needs the beam settings. You can come up to here, ArchiCAD beam settings, and you can put in material and height and all that kind of fun stuff. For right now, we just need a curve. So I'm gonna select this curve. Uh, Curve, bring in curve, um, set one curve, and it's that one. Beautiful, and then you'll see that it will show up in ArchiCAD, a crazy beam. And so you can make that beam whatever profile you want it to, uh, and it shows up as a real beam in ArchiCAD where you can change the settings. That's cool, awesome. All right, I don't know why there's a floating toilet there, but now let's do a column. <laughs> All right, type in column. Uh, column settings, columns. You don't need to put the column settings, but I just wanted to bring it up so you're looking at the depth, the position, the ID, all that fun stuff. Uh, for this one, you just need uh, anchor point, end point, uh, the anchor point is the base of it, so you're not using the same base point as this. Um, so I actually already made a beam, so we'll just, uh, sorry, a column. So let's just jump over that and show you what I did. So that's pretty much it. Um, we got our anchor point, which is down here. So anchor point, zoom. So that's our anchor point. And then our end point is way up here. And so that's our column. And then you can move those points around uh, and it will update this beam. And so then when we come to ArchiCAD, we get an updated beam. And all the time you can just start, stop, and now you can see that it's this weird angled thing. And this is coming up in segments. Can't help you there. So, and it didn't like being moved. Oh well. Oh, and there's just frustrating things like this. And you gotta connect it. Why isn't it connecting? 
and now it's connecting again. Um, so generally, I don't really advise using the Grasshopper to Rhino connection. I've done it for a number of projects, and it was helpful because I'm just familiar with modeling in Rhino, and it, it for me, I can just do it really quickly, so it made sense to bring in, I just had a whole object, and I would just have the live connection to that object, and make the updates, and it would even make updates on the, the document settings. Um, but it does get a little bit tricky when you're trying to do line work. You end up having to just redraft some thing, uh, redraft details anyways. Um, and so I think, yes, it is quicker to model in Grasshopper and Rhino. And so if you're doing like a one-off specialty object that you need a document, like maybe it's a, a piece of furniture or a detail or, um, just kind of like a specialty thing, like an art piece or something that you need to bring into your documentation, that could work. At some point, you're just gonna wanna model it in ARCHICAD. That's probably the preferable thing to do. Another thing you can do is just select a bunch of geometry in Rhino and then just export it once into uh, ARCHICAD. And you know, when you want to, you can just save, resave, uh, make it linked. Um, that would be another option. All right, well, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe, and please add comments, and uh, sometimes it takes me a while to turn around the videos, but please make suggestions on the types of videos that you would like to see, and that would be helpful for you and other people as well. Cool, well, my name is Nate, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye.